Yo, what's good with y'all? Got a Drake OZ type of tutorial today. I was cooking the sample and I thought I might as well hit the record button and kind of, you know, walk y'all through this one. But anyways, for today's video, I'm using my Onyx multi-kit. Y'all already know, first thing in the description, only $10. You get 100 plus sounds, one-shot kits, drum kits, bonus samples, you get everything. So if you guys do enjoy and learn something new, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and let's get to it. So I already came up with this MIDI right here and I went into Loner Sample Supply. I pulled out these MIDIs and I used the MIDI 7. So I used that as a bass and I like how that sounded and I changed it to this one. Now I'm not very big with music theory, I don't really know much and I don't make a lot of these R&B-ish type of chords but when I do I just go off ear. The most notable thing that carries the whole thing are the bass notes. That's a very common pattern in a lot of R&B type of emotional samples. And then on top of that, you basically just build. So then I added these notes here, kind of the same progression where it's going up the scale. And then using these notes that are highlighted, I help build chords around them, which are these notes that I highlighted right here. Now the way I did this is I built a simple triad, first note which is C, and then you go up three, one, two, three, and up four, one, two, three, four, and I copy this over for the second half which is the exact same thing. What gives it that emotional feel is the bass notes that are moving down here, and then lastly these top notes, which all I did for these top notes is I used the previous notes I used down here to help guide me. I just pushed them up an octave, and then I created this little transition where it was just kind of going down the scale. I really try to use these two notes that were right next to each other. It really helped with this R&B type of sample. Lastly, to make it sound realistic, I strum them a lot. These are all strummed, and you can just do that manually, or you can just do Alt S. And the velocities down here, they're all randomized. You can just do Alt R, or just do it manually. So first, I just had a regular piano. Now I'm going to mess around with the sound selection and use some one shots from my Onyx multi kit. So I went to the keys and I pulled out this 100 free hertz key. And then all I did is I went to the envelope. I turned everything down except the sustain all the way up and the release up. This is how it sounds with no effects. It sounds nice, but it cuts off too harsh. So in the effects, I first added halftime, just the regular one bar. And then in delay three, all I did is I put the delay mode on ping pong. And I panned it hard to the left and I turned the tone up. And then lastly, an EQ just taking out a lot of the lows. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just export this out. So next I'm using this locust key and I'm just using the exact same notes. I'm gonna add an echo boy to give it some more space. Lastly, just an EQ, cut out the highs. Make it sound more vintage and old. I'm gonna add this chopped cheese bass. So I just pitched it up three since the bass notes were a little too low, it's too muddy. All I added was ambience and I went to the dark rimbo room preset. This is basically just a very short room preset, very tight reverb and then the EQ just filtering out the sound. So lastly, I added this wave key and I just dragged in the same piano notes. Now 
Now I'm gonna go here, split by channel. That's gonna separate every sound by itself. I'm gonna just add a little bit of pancake, give it more movement to the first layer. I added this eighth vocal chop and I just spent a lot of time, I spent too much time chopping it up, making it sound perfect. And then the rest, I was just arranging everything. I have a sound shift on here, pitching it down one semitone. I like pitching them down because it makes everything sound a lot more filtered out, not as many highs, give it that like vintage R&B sound. And lastly, I'm just add an EQ on here, clean up the sample. Alright, so I exported it, and then this is the final sample. Alright, so that's the whole sample. I really hope you guys did enjoy and learn something new. But for this whole video, I used the Onyx kit. Just showing y'all what y'all could do with these one shots. And there's also a bunch of drums in here as well. But yeah, man, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to give a like, comment, subscribe. Lastly, follow me on Instagram. All this stuff will be linked in the description down below. But yeah, man, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see y'all in the next video.